Hey guys, and back from really long hiatus. I know I haven't been doing many videos in a while, but I just finished my first year of college and whatnot, and now I got the chance to do some stuff. So, yeah. So, I just got the new Freaky Fusion dolls, the three, the three new ones. Well, Nathaniel Rot isn't out yet. But, I got Siren of Boo. Bonina Fever. Get that's reason why Bonina Fever. Yeah, Bonina Fever. And Ava Trotter, or yeah, Ava Trotter, from what I hear. So, of course, I'm gonna start with the boxes. This one's Bonita's box. And of course, the box is like really weird, and but it's cool and whatnot. Of course, they come with a yellow brush and their diary. And yes, as you can see, they do stand in a room without stands. Especially saying right now, look at that. And Pernina, this is like age 16. I'm totally attracted to bright colors, and my favorite place to shop for them are flea markets. Don't judge, you can always find free cool vintage fashions and make them your own. So, this is going to be a really long review. I might as well just like. have this on here so you can like pause and see for yourself so that's Bonita's box this is Ava's here's her journal her diary I haven't read it yet I forgot to read it I read the other two so far they started really good Sorry about that. And there it went. I'm gonna do this in the living room. And here's Sirena's. She looks so pretty. Her journal, brush, back art. I don't know if you can see that well. Not very good lighting in here. So apparently, this movie, Freaky Fusion, they're trying to save Frankie. I'm gonna start a hashtag trend about that. No, no. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, on to the dolls. So, here's Ava. She was the first one I opened because uh, my dad wanted to see it. And this is his favorite. She is a combination, she's a hybrid of a uh, centaur and a uh, harpy. So, yeah. She has this adorable hat. It's like, I like her hat. <laughs> black top hat with the red feathers and her hair color is like a teal I think or it's like a big two mixture of colors because there's two tones in there she has her ears I love her makeup it's like rainbow feathers her eyes I don't really know I can't really tell because there's like a little design in their eyes too and all of them so it kind of takes away from their eye color especially hers Sirena and Bonita not much. She has like um ah, she went down. She has like a dark purple lip uh, lipstick color. She has gloves on and they're black with like a uh, trim of teal. She has purple bracelet here and a red one here. And look at the detail design on her arm. It's pretty cool. Just the feathers. Her shirt. And then the plaid that goes over it. And then her chain belt. It's like a belt but it goes all across her horse body. Her horse body is like a purple. Yeah, it's like a purple. Her style is like a question so yeah Oops, there's her tail with kind of like a black ribbon I guess holding it up but it's molded onto there can't take it off 
Just get horseshoe charms falling off the sides. I'm sorry, you can't see this. But she got skulls on her butt. I don't know if it's trying to be funny, like a kitty mark. Like an MLP, but you know. That's how I see it. Here's Bonita. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's like my favorite, especially her design. I love her wings. Look at her wings. Before she's hybrid of a skeleton and the Mothman. So, look at her eyes. So pretty. They're like violet. She has like this purple. And she has like this pink and yellow butterfly ponytail going on. She has blonde hair with pink and black streak in it. Under her ears. She has glitter going around. She has a lot. Looks like she's wearing a lot of or something like that. She has pink lips. She has a cute little dress. It's like butterfly design, then like this pink lace going on. And she has like this yellow butterfly bone belt. Look at her bone legs, it's different. There's a lot of detail going on in there. And her yellow shoes, which kind of match her wings. at the back. Yep. You can see how her body's bone too like Skeleta. She has really long hair. So pretty. There's Bonita. And last but not least, we have Cyrena. Who's like I don't know, maybe she changed my favorite to her. I don't know. But this one's my favorite so far. Oh, I love her hair. She has like lavender, bluish, light bluish going on there. She has like a braid and it's all curly. That's the side. Look at that. Look at this curl right here. Love it. It's pretty long. She's like kind of like translucent. She No, she doesn't glow in the dark. Sadly. Oh. She has white eyes apparently with like bubble designs in them. I don't know. And her eyebrows are like fins. Which is cool. But yeah, she's glitter translucent. But to her hands, they uh, transcend into black. Or convert into black. Fade into black or whatever it's called. Like that. The, type, the piece of clothing she wears is a shirt. And it's kind of strapless underneath. It's not. Th this isn't connected to it. It's kind of like a light green with like seaweed all over the place going on. In design. And then this black part is supposed to look like the top of the shirt. It's uh, another piece. Doesn't connect to the shirt, but it's like a ruffle, and it's coral, black coral, and glitter, and with a um, fishnet underneath. She has a chain necklace, kind of like, cause she's the hybrid of a ghost and a siren or a mermaid or whatever you like to call it. And she has a one chain earring. Uh, from what I read, she likes to string pearls into the chain. So yeah, on her arms, she has like fins that resemble coral, which are black. And her bracelets kind of like black string but so fancy kind of like <sighs> I don't remember dang it I don't remember what kind of style this is from well it'll come to me eventually so yeah and on her mermaid tail <laughs> sorry it's white no fading to black and she has a chain all over the place she can remove it in the back it's kind of hard to though it's on there tight but where you remove it it's like um shells it looks like a shell so yeah but up here is like a bundle of chain up here in black and then her mermaid tail is beautiful if this if she were real her tail would look like silk and it's black and it's also her stand so yeah but you can close it and do whatever the heck you want with it if you want to put it on one of those stands you can buy in one of those craft stores 
to make her look like on her box, then you can use that too. So yeah. So there you go. That has been my review of the new Freaky Fusion dolls, and they're pretty neat. I like these dolls. Monster High is getting into the ball game, making them more pretty and you know cooler. So I'll see you next time. Probably when I find Nathaniel Rot when he's finally out. Sorry for being out so long. Trust me, there will be more videos coming soon.